What's up guys and welcome to this tutorial. Um, we will be going over the 2018 November exam, the mathematics exam. Okay, it's worth 150 marks and you have three hours. Okay, so I'm going to start with 2018 and then work my way back um, similar to how I did the physics exams uh, to about 2016 or 2015. Um, yeah, so again, I'm just going to do section by section, um, splitting the paper up into, let's see how many sections this has, 13 uh, individual questions, just so that I, it's easy for me to categorize and easy for you, to go, for you guys to find uh, exactly what question you guys are looking for. Okay, so with that said, let's get into question one. Um, okay, <clears throat> so the hundredth term of an arithmetic sequence is 512 and its common difference is 7. Determine the first term of the sequence. Okay, so not too difficult. So we know the hundredth term. So question, okay, so question 1a, t100 is equal to um, 512. Okay, but if we go to our formula sheet, and we look at our arithmetic equation, Tn equals A, uh, so it's Ta equals A plus N minus 1D, so I can put that down, so Tn is equal to A plus N minus 1 times D, where A is your um, first number or first term, and D is the difference, okay? Or well, the common difference which we know is equal to 7. Okay, so now we and n is obviously uh, the term we're looking at. So for, um, so the, yeah, it's the term. Okay, so now that we know what all that means, so t100, okay, we can say is equal to a plus 100 minus 1 times the difference. Okay, and we know the difference is 7. So then we can simplify this, okay? We also know that T100 is 512. So 512 is equal to A plus 100 minus 1 is 99 times 7, okay? So A, or the first term, is the only unknown, so we can solve for A, and A is equal to minus 181. So that would be uh, your answer for question A. So the first, or the first term in the sequence is equal to minus 100. And 81. Okay, so the we'll do B next to it. So the general term of a sequence, okay, so the general term of a sequence is Tn equals 2n plus 3. So Tn equals 2n plus 3. Then it says show that the sequence is arithmetic. Okay, so we want to show that the sequence is arithmetic. Okay, so the easiest way to do this is just find T1, T, let's say T1, T2, T3, um, we can probably get away with just doing 3. Yeah, okay. So for T1, I'm going to say 2 times 1 plus 3, okay? And that is equal to 4. That's not equal to 4. That's equal to 5, okay? Then for T2, I'm going to say 2, uh, two times 2 plus 3, so that's 4 plus 2. 3 is 7, and then for T3, I'm going to add a 3, so that's 6 plus 3, which is 9. Okay, now I'm going to take three, T3 minus T2, so I'm just going to minus these. Okay, starting from my right, so my right number minus my left number, so 9 minus 7 is 2, and again, 7 minus 5 is 2. Okay, so my common difference is 2. If we took T4, let's just do it for fun. If we put in a 4 there, that's 8 plus 3 is 11. So 11 minus 9 is 2. So we can say we have a constant first difference uh, difference, which is equal to 2. Therefore, it is uh, arithmetic. Okay, and we get ourselves three marks. Okay, then it says, determine in terms of n a simplified expression for Sn. 
the sum of the first n numbers. Okay, so we want an expression an expression for S n. Okay, so that was B one. So B two. We want S n. Okay, so again, I go back to my formula sheet. I go back to the arithmetic section, uh, which would be one two the third line, and I look at S n equals n over two times n plus uh, sorry S n is equals n over two times 2a plus n minus 1d. Okay, so I'm just going to put that down. So sn is equal to n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1d. Okay, now we just need to fill in the blanks. Remember, we want this expression in terms of n. So the final answer must have uh, the variable n. Okay, so I'm going to use that's equal to n over 2. I'm going to leave that. Okay, 2 times a. We just need to look at the first term. So a is our first term, remember. So a is equal to 5 plus n minus 1. So I'm going to leave that n in there times the difference. And we just calculated the difference, which was 2. Okay, then uh, we can cal calculate that out. So that's 2. Uh, so n over 2, okay, so that's 10 plus 2n minus 2, just multiplying through, okay, so then we're left with n over 2, um, that's going to be 10 minus 2, which is 8 plus 2n, okay, and then if we multiply everything in, we get, so this 2 is going to cancel with that to make it 4, okay, so then we get 4n plus, these 2s will cancel, so we're left left with plus n squared okay so our final answer is going to be sn is equal to n squared plus 4n okay so i hope you guys can see as long as you know know which um, formulas to look for um, this is just plug and play okay and we get three marks for that and then the last question says consider the given a quadratic sequence Okay, quadratic sequence. Determine a simplified expression for the nth term of the sequence. Okay, quadratic sequence. Okay, so for qu quadratic sequences, we need to remember uh, some things. Okay, what we need to remember, I will put in a different color. Okay, so let's just see. This is question C. Question C, and I'm just going to put the sequence down. It's 4, 7, 4, 7, 14, and 25. Okay, so what we need to remember for question C. Okay, so we have this is the sequence that we've been given. Okay, four, four, seven, fourteen, and twenty-five. Okay, so what we're going to do is we know it's quadratic, right? So we're going to take the rightmost number and minus it from the leftmost number once again. Okay, so twenty-five minus fourteen is eleven. 14 minus 7 is 7, 7 minus 4 is 3. Okay, and we're going to do it once more. So we're left with 11 minus 4, um, sorry, 11 minus 7 is 4, and 7 minus 3 is 4. Okay, so we've got to a constant. Okay, so basically that's where we stop. And then we have to remember this. This is not on the formula sheet, so we need to remember that for the first term, we are going to say a plus b plus c is equal to 4. Okay, so I'm doing this in red because we need to remember this. Okay, for a quadratic, the second line is going to be 3a plus b is equal to 3. And then the third line is going to be 2a is equal to 4. Okay, now we just need to solve each of these equations. Okay, and you start off by solving the bottom equation. So there's three equations here. Um, so we start off by solving the bottom one. So Two okay, also remember for a quadratic the form is equal to the general form is equal to a n squared plus b n plus c, and these all relate to our a, b, and c's that I've just mentioned. Okay, so moving on, okay, so I'm going to solve equation one first. 2a is equal to 4, so we have one unknown a is equal to 2. Okay. Uh, if we look at the second one, we have 3a plus b 
is equal to 3. So I'm going to say 3 times 2 plus b is equal to 3. Okay, so b is equal to, if I plug that in, I get minus 3. Okay, that's my b. And if I look for my c, I'm going to say a plus b, so that's equation 2, this is equation 3. a plus b plus c is equal to 4. a was equal to 2. b was equal to minus 3 plus c was equal to, okay, c is what we're looking for, is equal to 4. Okay, c is the only unknown. We have minus 1 here, so we have c is equal to 5 when we carry it across. Okay, so now we know what a, b, and c is. So now we can say that um, the equation or the expression tn, which is what we're looking for, is equal to, following the format, a n squared, so that's 2 n squared, plus b, which is minus 3 n, plus c, which is plus 5. Okay, and remember, with all of these, with all of these um, questions, um, if I want to figure out if my answer is correct, I just substitute, let's say, two values. Let's start with 1. Okay, so t1 is equal to, 2 times 1 is 2, minus 3 plus 5. Okay, then I have uh, 2 minus, so that's minus 1 plus 5 is equal to minus 4. So that's my t1. Okay, if I want to check t2, t2 is equal to, so we're going to have 2 times 2 squared minus 3 times 2 plus 5. So we're left with 4 times 2 is 8 minus 6 plus 5. That's minus 1 is equal to 7. So this was all equal to minus 1. So 8 minus 1 is 7. And that's T2. Okay. And if your first T1 and T2 are correct, it's most likely um, that your next, that this answer that you've given is correct. Okay. So that's that question. And that is your 13 marks. So I hope that was useful. Um, it took less than 13 minutes, so you do have 150 marks and 180 minutes, so it's more than a mark. No, it's less than a mark a minute, so yeah, this should be fine. Um, so in the next uh, question, in the next video, rather, we will go over question two. Okay, guys, I hope you found this useful, and thanks for watching.